When it comes to illustrating, you know, the most popular children's book in, in, in children's books history, uh, you do feel pressure. So this is uh, the final uh, design for Harry himself. Now Harry Potter was the trickiest character to nail. It was a case of going back to the story and thinking who is Harry for me and I actually saw a young boy in the London Underground and he was with his mum so I thought I've got two stops to try and introduce myself to this, uh, to this family and say you know your son is absolutely perfect for a project I'm working on but I couldn't say what the project was it was all under wraps. Now I left my details and I thought, well, that's it, I'll never hear from him again. And, and luckily, two weeks later, um, I got a lovely message from uh, the young boy's mum and said she'd be you know, keen to help me in any way. This is a portrait of uh, Professor McGonagall. And in the book, there are several portraits just for me to sort of stamp my own idea of the characters in the book, really. McGonagall is actually based on my partner, although I must stress that um, I have aged her quite considerably. So this is uh, Hermione, based on my niece. Quite bossy, tells me off a lot, so she's very good for Hermione. I got a lovely letter from JK Rowling. Uh, now for me, because it's quite a pressure sort of situation working on this book, it suddenly hit me and I thought, gosh, this is, this is really happening. Uh, and she sent this beautiful letter saying she really liked what she'd seen so far. And I think that meant more than, than anything, really. Uh, people often ask you know, what you use, and I think they expect you to use uh, sort of posh paints, and, but actually I'll use anything that makes a mark. So I use house paint, charcoal, wax, um, you know, children's wax crayons. It tends to be what's within arm's reach, which is a terrible confession. I lie awake, I think, every night worrying about how much there is to do. I'm a bit behind on book two at the moment. So you do, there are moments when you think, Oh, it's not happening, it's not working, but and it just makes you appreciate the times when it does click, you know. It's a rare moment, but when it does, it makes it all worthwhile. It's the more darker side of Rowling's writing that I, I actually sort of look forward to illustrating. I am quite dark at heart, so I think that'll be the, the, the one I'm really looking forward to doing is these, the later books, I think.